And here we are at the office at 4.15. After 11 p.m. till 3 p.m. today, another 16 hours. I am tired, that is for sure. But the hustle and the grind never stops. So we're gonna be here. Get stuff done at the office, you know, since I haven't been here all weekend. And then I already set up a meeting at 5.30 at the rental house to show the lady around the house and her husband probably, I know at least the lady that's possibly thinking about buying my rental house with my tenants in it. So get rid of that. It'll be good to get that progress done. The guy's gonna start, he's gonna pay me and get the first load or maybe a couple loads of gym equipment Friday at 7.30 at the rental house. So things are rocking and rolling, going smooth and good. So hopefully tonight goes good and hopefully her and I can settle on a price sometime this week or so or whenever. But at least we can get the show in the house out of the way. So I'll probably end up coming back to the office and getting more work on that proposal done. So 10 p.m. will be 24 hours up again. But I'm excited to see where it all heads and goes and really to show you guys where I'm directing my attention towards and why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'll really explain it later on. But it's all part of the game, part of the process. I think I just win more than most people just because I sacrifice more than others do. But in the end, most people are going to be sacrificing their whole life for comfortability and mediocrity. And from like 40 on, maybe even in my 30s, I won't be. I'll be financially free, financially independent, financially retired in my 30s. No debt. I mean, just. Shop good year. It's great. Oh, phone call. Look at that. Good year. Offering over time. So, bye. Well, meeting went good with the uh, lady at the rental house, so I was happy about that. She's going to be making me an offer soon. She really liked it all. Showed her everything, the garage, everything. It was crappy cold out, snowy. Showed her the yard, everything. Ugh. Wasn't very nice. Other than that, I'm really excited how all that went, so hopefully she'll come and uh, make me an offer that I won't say that I can't refuse, but that I'll accept, and we can move forward with that, and I can be done with that other part, and the gym equipment's, man. Things are rocking. I'm excited. I really am. Other than that, just got gas. I'm going to run. I'm going to get last Subway sandwich because I'm starving. I'm going to go home. I'm actually going to run by my mom drop off some tax stuff. BS with her for a little bit. I'm going to go and cook. Talk to you guys more there. All right, I lied. I didn't get Subway before I came here. I'll save that for another day. Probably tomorrow, actually. Over here. Had a good, what, couple hours over here. 30, what, 1030. So we made it up. 24 and a half hours. Time to go and crash. Got to work 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Then go volunteer and do all my normal stuff. So that's it. Dutch is about ready to go. She's ready to go. Uh -huh. Trooper sleeping underneath the blanket. I'm gonna go home. That's it. It's been a good day overall. Long, exhausting. My crazy ass got a second wind. Spending your time with my mom over there. Just gets to that point of past pure exhaustion that you start getting the second wind again, so. Oh well, whatever, but talking to her about some of the other stuff that I got going on. The meeting with the, like I said, lady went really well. So we're gonna see what she has to come back with an offer. Just things are falling into place, one after the other. You know why? Patience. I got patience, I got faith, I believe in myself. It's a lot of reason all this stuff falling together. And I mean, you guys are going to start seeing what is falling in order and why. And I'm really going to break it down for you guys as the weeks go by.
because some of you guys are forgetting about some of the other stuff that I got going on, the phone calls that I'm making, the deals that I'm setting up. Some of you guys forget about that stuff because it's a patience game. Some of the other things that I do are patience. They're long term. They're long run. But you guys just don't understand. You forget about them, like because I'm not talking about them all the time. Doesn't mean they're not still happening in the background and going and moving. And I'm having to still deal with stress of them and you know phone calls and meetings and just stop looking for the cheap easy money and the quick get get rich quick get rich get rich quick and just everything else. I've done all this stuff for over 10 years, seeds I planted over 10 years, believed in myself over 10 years, years, 10 years that I've known this, and it's all really coming to light, and I mean to make huge, big impacts in my life. It's already made, you know, pretty substantial impacts, but everything just compounds as it keeps going on. You guys are going to see things in a huge way. Can't wait for everybody to start seeing all this stuff. When everything gets big and huge, and there's thousands of people watching my vlogs, they're going to go back to these vlogs where I'm getting 30 views, 80 views, hundreds of views. They're going to see. I was right all along, and I was playing it for the long term. I wasn't rushing shit. But all right, we're going to bed. 10.45, get to bed 11. Seven hours of sleep after all these four hours of sleep and three hours of sleep and 24 hours up. Just seven hours is going to be awesome. Hi.